in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper, the host of this program, known here on social media, wherever you may find me, I am known as the mighty, 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 mm, angel snub number seven, I am your soul brother, number one. Before we really get into our topic, I am talking to the so-called black American man. Those who are the descendants of slaves born in America, those who are the descendants of the Jim Crow South. Those who are connected with these things and the atrocities of being born in this country called the United States of America. We are their descendants. We are of them. That's who I want to talk to. As a man, as a man, you should not want to engage regardless if you believe they are or we are of the same race. If you are men, you want to separate yourself from them because you are not them. Just like we have crows. But there are many types of crows. But the history. Even the behavior of crows. They may be similar. They may be crows. But they are not the same. So you cannot blame. One crow. For the activity of another crow. Because even though they are crows. They are not the same. And you don't want to be included in somebody else's, as they say in religion, you don't want to be included in someone else's sin. As they do not want to be included in our sin, but they want the benefits of our sin. <laughs> you should not tolerate as a man you should not tolerate no you deal with your house there are those who want inclusion and that is fine if you take the bad with the good but you don't suffer and you have never suffered the bad all you did and have done is benefit from our good There are those who want to be black. And if we were given reparations by this nation, they want to be included, but they did not suffer Jim Crow. They did not suffer the slavery that made it necessary for reparations for these descendants. We are not the same. And they should be happy and they should be helpful in our getting that if we are indeed in the same family. If we are definitely suffering the same circumstance because we have helped them. Our voices was raised during the time speaking out against South African apartheid system and all the injustices of Africans and other melanated people around the earth, but do they do that for us? 
And this is my problem. And if they have not, then as men, then you should not want to be affiliated. You should not want to be as seen as them. No, you handle your problem like you sit back in the cut and you let us handle our problem. Because we damn sure have not benefited from none of these people, these melanated people around the earth. They benefit from our problem. We don't benefit and get got nothing from them. So as a man, this should not be tolerated. You help me, I help you. We in this together. But this is one-sided. And for me, I cannot tolerate that. Because I must stand as a man. We want to talk about that. Before we get started, I know there are those who want to cry and whimper these men because they cannot handle what manhood really asks you to do. You want to live in some kind of Cinderella. Some type of Wakanda. That's not reality. What should we be doing? Let's talk about this. So I'm sitting back and I'm thinking about our manhood. And I hear over and over again and I see these mims and I folks, these men, I, I'm, I'm a god, I'm a, I'm a king. I'm a strong black man. But at the same time, they cry and they whimper. The black woman won't support me. Terry, you're supposed to support me, you know. Black woman won't support me. My kid, I, she won't let me see my, she won't see my children. I, I, they won't give me a job. How you, how are you going to be strong? How are you a god and a king? And you crying about what some woman won't let you do. You crying about somebody won't give you a job. They won't let you do this. You won't let they won't let you do that. But you are a god. You are a king. You all the I'm a strong black man. But you crying and you whimpering. How does all that fit in the same sentence? We're going to talk. Let's talk about that. I'm going to talk about it. You're going to cry about it and make excuses for your cowardice. You're going to cry and whimper about it, making excuses for your weakness. Because those are words. Those are claims that have yet to be verified. In 1981, I turned 18 years old, and I was told when we turn 18 years old in the United States of America, I'm told, we are told, you are considered an adult. You have graduated from high school. And now you're leaving high school, you're entering the world of adulthood. You are no longer a child. You can go serve your nation, but you cannot drink alcohol till you are 21. <laughs> okay, you're an adult. They say that you're an adult at 18. But you can't drink liquor until you're 21, but I thought adults are able to drink spirits. I thought adults are supposed to be able to drink liquor, but you cannot drink liquor until you 
are 21, but you're supposed to be an adult at 18. Because somebody explained this to me. Just because you are called an adult, and I'm going to use myself as an example. Okay, I turn a number. They put a number on me, 18. 18, you are an adult. I did not feel like an adult. In the public school system, if we are adults, by the time you graduate, by the time you become 18, then we should have all the skills that we need in order to be a full function adult. And the reality is, we don't. We're still childish. We have no real life experience. We've never lived outside of mama and daddy. We've never done nothing independent. But we are called an adult. And you can go to jail and be placed in the adult prison. Even though you still have the mind of a child at 18. 18. Teenager. More contradiction. I can't. Okay, I'm an adult, but I cannot drink alcohol until I'm 21. I'm an adult. I'm 18. I'm still a teenager. How can you be both? 18, I'm still a teenager. 19, I'm still a teenager. That's not nothing I made up. That's what we're that's what we're dealing with. But you're supposed to be an adult. But the reality is you're still a teenager. It says it in the numbers. You're using the numbers. So we're still teenagers. We're still children. There's nobody that can say. I mean, you can act like an adult. Pretend because by the time some people get uh, 18, uh, they have children. They're going through the motions of being some kind of adult. But you're children. You're children with children. And I can honestly say it's going to take some years before I began to feel as though I'm some type of an adult. Because in order to be an adult, you're not even given the skills. Going through all those years from kindergarten to 12, 12 years, you still don't have the skills of an adult. The majority of the learning that you're going to get from kindergarten to 12th grade, the majority of it is useless. You don't think about it no more. Just a small portion you actually going to use. In the natural world, if you are a lion cub, when those lions begin to view you as an adult, you have everything that you need to survive and act like a full grown adult lion. Every day that cub is taught something that they are going to use. To survive. In our upbringing. From kindergarten to 12. Very little. Are you going to use. Anything. That you're taught to survive. But at 18. You're an adult. No. You physically. Look like an adult. But mentally. And what you have been given. You're still a child. We're still children. And because of this education that we get, some of us, even when we're 50 and 60 years old, we still have a childlike mind. Because from kindergarten to 12th grade, we were not nurtured. We were not given an adult mind. Physically, 
Of course, physically, you're an adult. But mentally, you're not an adult. And you have not been given the skills, the tools that we need to, to survive as an adult. That's why many turn to crime. That's why many turn to prostitution and drugs and alcohol. Because you, what I'm going to do, because you went through, you went from kindergarten to 12th grade, and really we don't know nothing. We have not been given the tools that we need in order to survive as an adult. Get a job and work. We could have done that when we was a freshman in high school. If that's all we're going to do, you're going to go from kindergarten to the 12th grade just to get a, a chump ass job somewhere. You could have done that back when we was a freshman in, in grade school. We're not giving it the tools. They're not, we're, not, we're not conditioned to have the mindset of an adult. So since we're still children, because we're still 18 and we are 19 years old, go to college. Get your education. That's going to make you better. And college is nothing but an overrated high school. It should be for adults, but it's an overrated high school. This is why when they first go to college, we want to party. And they set up all these different, what they call them, these different groups or whatever. They want to get drunk and screw around and blah, blah. Because you're still a child, 18, 19, 20. You're still a child, still a baby. I want to have fun. And most of them don't settle down until the uh, close to graduation point. But they act like children. I want to party. I want to have. I want to have fun. That's what you. That's what babies do. When a lion is a is a cub, they play. But even in their play, they are learning something about survival. Even when animals are playing, they are doing something, learning something to help them survive. We're learning absolutely nothing. There is no benefit to our partying. We don't learn a damn thing until we're caught up with a DUI and go to jail. You might learn something. Because some of these people don't learn a damn thing. They get drunk and do it over and over again until they kill somebody. If not themselves. So just because we're given a number 18 don't mean we are an adult. Because you can be 60. You can be 70. And still have a child mind. That's why. In our society. Being called an elder don't really mean nothing. Except you've been, a, you've been lucky enough to live. A certain period of time. Ain't learned a damn thing. There are many who gravitate toward the elder, but the elder has nothing really to offer the youth, so it's nothing but talk, sounds good, but it creates nothing of substance. So the elder has 40, 50, 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, uh, a million on Facebook. Oh, he's wise. But you produce nothing. And you don't change. You can't change nothing. You produce nothing, you change nothing. The elder, when you look at them, Look at their life. What did they do? They so wise. What did they produce? 
Nothing. There are younger people with more wisdom, more maturity than many so-called elders. This is a fact. And the problem with the African American, the problem with the soul brothers and sisters, the problem with the freedmen, the, the foundation of black America, uh, whatever you want to call yourself today, is that all we know? We don't know nothing about being an adult because an adult means you are independent. And the only thing we ever know is dependence. We don't know nothing about independence. I don't care how much money we have. I don't care how much money Oprah Winfrey has, or P. Diddy has, or R. Kelly had, or Michael Jackson had, or Bob Johnson. Or, well, all these, there's a lot of black folks that have money. But without the white man, you would have nothing. Because you're dependent on him. And when he told your ass, you can't have it, you didn't get it. But you're a man, you're a God. Another man tell you what you can and cannot have. There was a time, there was no possibility of an Oprah Winfrey. Because the white man said, no, it ain't going to happen. There's not going to be a Motown. There's not going to be a, a BET. There's not going to be none of that stuff. I said no. And all you could do is say, why, sir? You had to act like a child. Asking for a cookie. So you have a temper tantrum. Well, I'm going to march. And I'm going to cry because the children. Babies, you're not, you've never been an adult. When did we become an adult? We were on a slave plantation for 300 years. When did you become an adult? The master took care of your babies. The master fed you, put clothes on your back. You ain't never, you ain't never been without master. And then master allowed, allowed, I'm going to do a Dr. Umar Johnson. Uh, allow, allow. He allowed you to have your own chicken. He allowed you to have a little garden. He allowed you to have certain things. He allowed you to do these things. Another man allowed. I'm an adult. I don't need your ass to tell me and do a damn thing for me. You never, we've never been an adult. Never. Men and women, we've never been an adult. But we want to put on this facade. We want to put on this show like you're an adult. Well, if you're an adult, how come you're not producing like an adult? How come you're not acting like an adult? How come you still got to ask, Masa, can I do this, Masa? Can I have this, Masa? Can I have a license to drive, Masa? Can I have a license to build, Masa? Can I do this? Can I buy some land, Masa? You an adult. That's what you say. It's a lie. A pretend adult. At least I can confess it. At least I understand. At least I know. I'm not going to live a lie. Even in my own personal life. Because I know. Just because I was 18 years old. I know I was not an adult at 18. I'm struggling to be an adult now. I can confess that. I'm struggling to be a man now. I can confess that. I don't want to put on no show. I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. You don't mind doing that. You just want to feel good, but that's not that's not who and what you are. Because the reality is, you got somebody else. 
that you got to run to, Mr. Adult. You can't do nothing. You don't have no power. You don't have no control. So, I became a truck driver. 1986. And I went to truck driving school for about three weeks. And then you take the, the driver's test and they give you a commercial driver's license. Ta-da! You are a truck driver. You now qualify to take this big long thing and drive around the country. Just because I graduated from truck driving school did not make me a truck driver. Because in order for me to really be a truck driver, I have to have ex Woo! No, you're not going to like it. I got to have experience. And I didn't call myself a truck driver. I'm like a a student. I wasn't comfortable. I went through all the motions, got my driver's license, went to truck driver school. I knew that I was not really qualified to be called a truck driver. I'm still a student. It would be years down the line before I became comfortable. Yes, I'm a truck driver now. Because I have the experience. Just because I'm behind the wheel of this vehicle does not mean I'm a truck driver. I had to get experience. What makes an adult? What makes an adult is that you have experience in life that the child does not have. And you have learned how to survive in the environment that you're in. And the cub, when the lion begin to treat the cub like an adult, that cub has now earned, earned and qualified to be an adult, they can now help the, the 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 pride. They can survive on their own without the pride. They have all the skills they need to be an adult lion. They have learned from being a cub and being raised. They have all the skills they need to be they need in order to survive in this environment. We don't have that. I did not have all the skills that I needed. To really call myself a truck driver. I did not qualify. When I began to accept. And understand. I'm now I'm a truck driver. I earned the right. I have experience under my belt. You call yourself a God. And a king. You call yourself a strong black man. You have no experience. You no experience being a God. What do you do if you are God? What have you done to qualify? What is the criteria? What is it that makes you God? Or what we are doing is just putting these labels and these titles on ourselves that we did not earn. We do not qualify. Mm. And that I cannot do. We want to take praise and give ourselves unearned credit that we did not earn. That we did not earn. You want to pretend that you this strong black. What, what? What have you done so strong? A few, a few handful 
of brothers and sisters from the 1930s to the 1960s are few. When you talk about millions in the country, a few thousand actually hit the streets, a few thousand actually challenged the powers that be. The majority sit back in the cut and watch the minority on TV. Because I know that's what my people did. Basically, they didn't take no action, live in Jim Crow, whatever. they didn't take no action to do nothing. But they benefit from the actions of a Dr. King. They benefit from the actions of Fannie Lou Hamer, they, uh, Kwame Torre. They benefit from Huey Newton and, and all those who helped them accomplish that gain of a few, a few little something somethings in this nation. And that's all you do. So how are you a strong, you're a strong black man, you're a strong black woman. What have we, what have you done? You ain't done nothing. But we want these titles. We want to wear the clothes. We want to, we want to impersonate a police officer. You did not go to school. You didn't go to a police academy. You didn't do nothing to be a, a police officer. The, the best you probably did, you was a security guard somewhere. But you want to be called and you want to be viewed as an FBI agent, a CIA agent, or the local police. But you, ain't, you, you don't qualify. We want these labels. We want these titles. Because they sound good, but you did not earn it. There's nothing that we get that we don't earn. We have to earn. To drive a car, you must earn the right, take a test, driver's test, so you can drive a car. To get your high school diploma, you gotta you have to go from kindergarten to twelve to get that high school diploma. You have to go years and years to get that bachelor's degree, that associate's degree, whatever it is, whatever it is that we do, we have to earn it. When you go for a job, you have to qualify. So you have to give that person that you want that job from or that position uh, your resume to see if you qualify. What's on your resume, black man? What's on your resume, black woman? What's on your resume? But we want these titles. I'm a king. I'm a god. I'm a queen. Why did I want to come up with this subject? Why did I want to talk about this? I want to talk about this because sometimes I just sit in the cut. I might just sit on the street in a parking lot and watch our people Black men, and you know we we we're loud sometimes, and you hear the conversations and the, and the talk. And black men is just a waste of life. Why aren't black men standing up for us? Some of us are. You getting ready to die anyway? At least die with some dignity. Die. Accomplish, trying to accomplish something. I see them with the brown bag. <laughs> you, you know the brown bag. With the wine or the beer. Hollering and screaming at each other. A fight break out. They kill each other. Instead of the enemy... They'd rather get drunk, smoke some weed, and kill each other. And if you're not doing that, let's get drunk, smoke some weed. Let's go to YouTube and beef with somebody. Find somebody to talk to, slander and gossip. But we are the mature. I'm a grown man. I'm a strong black man. I'm a strong black woman. 
you don't qualify. You don't fit the criteria. False titles, unearned titles. And I'm supposed to sit back. See, there are people that will tell you that these are, that you are God and you're a king and a queen and a goddess and all this other stuff. And then they say, will you donate to my cash up? Sure, you call me a god and a king and, and, and a queen. So they would tell you that lie to get what they want. Like a lot of brothers would tell women certain things so they can get in their panties. And don't mean it. I just want your panties. I like you. Do not like her. You just like what she got in her drawers. And you have people out here that do the same thing to us. They will tell you how beautiful you are. You're a king and a royalty and the black man do this, the, the king of the universe and all like that. Then they turn around. Uh, will you donate? Will you give me? Same thing, many of these men and some women do the same thing. Hype up a person so you can get something from, from them. And that's all that has been done to us. All these teachings, uh, God going to do this with the God's chosen people. All this stuff so you can get in my panties. Because it's not true. If it's true, how did I qualify to be a God? What do I do? Well, the black man is God. Well, how did I qualify? What do I do? If you ask a police officer, what did you do to qualify? He going to tell you, I had to go to the gun range. I went to the police academy. I, I had to do this. I had to pass all these different tests to, to earn the right so I can call myself a police officer. So if you God, so if you are a king, you, here you are a king, and a queen, where's your kingdom at? Where's your queendom at? What do you rule? What do you control? We, you, you, they're going to tell you this story uh, we used to in the past. What past? It's more lies. You ain't do nothing in the past. You ain't never ruled. Black Americans ain't never ruled nothing nowhere at no time. That's a damn lie. Will you donate to my cash out? Will you pull your panties down for me? That's all that is. Slick talk. See, folks don't like coming here because I don't give slick talk. We got to be real. Because that's the reality of it. The reality is 18 years old don't make you an adult. You are a teenager. And some of y'all will tell your children. When you turn 18, you got to get the hell out of here. You're still a teenager, still a child. They ain't learn nothing. It's just a number. Many of us will not begin to realize or begin to try to act like an adult until we in our 30s. And some of us will never. You just call it an adult by number. You will never become an adult in the mind. If the black man and woman truly was God, truly was a king, truly royalty, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in right now. Because a man and a woman would not tolerate this environment, this condition. But you're not, you're a child. Still under the wing of your father. Which is the white man. Your mother. Which is the white woman. And you still got to go to them. Can I have. Can I do this. Can I do that. Because you're not an adult. Your children are not adults. You don't ask them permission to do nothing. I'm no adult here. But outside of your little. Chump ass house, you gotta ask them. Uh, 
Did you pay your electric bill? Well, I only have a click. Click, Mr. Adult. Click, Mrs. Adult. This is how your mom and daddy treat you in reality. They don't want to hear that. Because you're an adult. Since you're an adult, you should pay your, your utility bill. And since you didn't, you want to act like a, you don't, since you want to act like a child, you don't want to accept the responsibility as an adult, we turning your lights out. Well, I don't need you. But apparently you do because you don't get no lights until you give him his money so he can turn the lights on. If you really was a full functioning man, a full functioning woman, I don't need you. Cut that crap off, man. But you're not. You still got to ask them for permission. Can I have? Can I do? God, if you God, God don't ask a, a man. I don't have a few dollars. Don't turn off my lights. You, you God. Let them turn off the lights. You a king. You don't need his food. Plus his food is poison anyway. We're not acting as full functioning adults. You want to put on this show. And then you get exposed for what you really are when they pull what they call you the H card on you. And you sit back like the coward you are. Not like God. Not like some king. No, you sit back like the coward you really are. You only impress other slaves. It's 40 million in this country. And if that 40 million has a lot of power, but that power cannot be, it cannot be used because we have a childish mind. You don't act like a god, you don't act like a king, you act like a child. You're jealous, envious, selfish, greedy, materialistic because you're children. A group of people who are still teenagers in the mind. You look at it like an adult. Walk like an adult. Have babies, of course, because y'all love some sex. Gots to have me some sex, you know. Gotta have me some sex. But you're not capable of taking care of of the consequences of sex because yourself and these children they need food, clothing and shelter and you can't produce it you go to Masa that's who you go to because you're not capable because you're not no God God in the Bible says be and it is when you said be nothing happened you said you said B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L, P. You go back to kindergarten because your B don't stand for nothing. God said let there be light. And you still living in the darkness. You don't have the ability to produce any light. You're not a full functioning man. You're not a full functioning woman. And when the light comes on, all those suckers that stroke your ego telling you a lie. You are still living in the dark, but you donate to their cash app. You donate to their GoFundMe or whatever it is that they begging you for. Their lights are on because you helped pay for it and you still in the dark. Oh! Mm. Woo! That's why they don't like hanging around Angel Snuffin' Up 7. That's why they don't want you to listen to Angel Snuffin' Up 7 because I'm doing my damnness. 
to be a full functioning adult. And I understand what that means. And in order to be a full functioning adult in this society, it might mean somebody might kill you. It means you're going to have some opposition. It means you're going to suffer. But that's what men do. Because I'm going to get my respect. They killed Dr. King. But I guarantee you, they respect him. They killed Malcolm. But I guarantee you, he was respected. Whether they like it or not. I was locked up for 10 years. But I guarantee you, those pieces of trash respected me for my position. Standing up for myself. Standing up for those who couldn't stand for themselves. Kill me. I don't care. Do what you got to do. But the thing about freedom is, you can't kill freedom. You can kill a, a physical body. And you cowards might not do nothing, but I guarantee you, this is not going to go on and on and on. Because it's natural for people to want to be free. When they begin to realize this is not freedom, this ain't nothing but a new type of slavery, a different kind of Jim Crow. Just because I can marry a white woman, because I can marry a white man, because I, I can ride in a limousine and all this nonsense. It ain't real. It's just somebody pulling my panties down. Taking me on a ride. All these black men. Soul brothers. Foundation of black America. You can't even make up your mind. Who the hell and what you are. But you are God. I'm a king and don't rule nothing. And that's why many of these guys get angry at women. Because they want to rule. They want to rule and try to control the women. But they won't challenge the man. Who got you and the woman in a bad position. They won't do that. I'd rather drink. I'd rather smoke. I just play with whatever he allowed me to have. I'm looking at somebody like Snoop Dogg, not to pick on Snoop Dogg, but I'm watching him look like he smoked weed every damn day. What can this man teach up this young boy growing up except to be a slave? So these young men copy Snoop Dogg and LeBron James and all these weak ass men, all of you weak. Because you satisfied with what another man allow you to have. Whew. You don't know how to go out here and be an adult and take what you what we deserve to have. Even the Muslims. I'm gonna say this and we're gonna get out of here. Even the Muslims, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad asked the white folks here, the, the people in charge, uh, y'all y'all should give us 10 states or whatever. And you should support us for, what, 25 years until we're able to get on our feet and blah, blah, blah. Knowing these folks not going to give you nothing. But you got a law on your side. And we have had the nation of Islam for almost 100 years. You don't have no states. You don't have nothing. If you God take it. They don't have nothing. You got a beautiful show. You get you got people. You giving them these titles. I'm a God. I'm a I'm a king, whatever, and don't qualify. What do you do? What's your power? What makes you God? And change nothing. 
when we call ourselves God, hell, if I just call myself a man, it's going to be because I qualify, because I earned it. Not because of some talk. Then I turn around, will you donate to my cash app? Will you do donate for what? The nation of Islam, after a hundred years, should have their own state. They never controlled a neighborhood, a city, or a town, or nothing. But beg Masa, Masa, will you give us, and then what you gonna do with it? If Masa gave them the state, what you gonna do with it? We have to earn. And when we earn, we will appreciate. That's why your ass don't really appreciate. You don't even really appreciate the so-called freedom that black people have in this country because you didn't earn it. Masa gave it to you. The Emancipation, what they call it? The Emancipation Proclamation. And then most, a lot of the slaves didn't even know till two years later. Because you didn't earn it. And you really didn't even earn the Civil Rights Bill. Every what? Every two years or whatever, they vote on it so, so that you can have the vote. Who's going to accept that? But we accept it because, okay, master, okay. Just like when you go to mommy and daddy, can I have two cookies? No, you can have one. Okay, mama. I really would like two. No, you can only have one cookie. And that's how we act in this country. Because we know we're not God. We know we're not a man. We know we're not a woman. That's why you will see in those old pictures, they have to hold up a sign, I am a man. Why I have to hold up a sign saying I'm a man? You got to tell other people. They, they, they don't know. You got to tell people, I'm a man. Some of us always, when we argue with folks, I'm a man. I'm a grown-ass woman. What, they can't see that? No, they can't see that because we act like children. We ain't learn nothing. Physically, we are an adult, but here, we're still children. We try to act like we're free. The reality is we're not free. We don't act like free functioning men and women. Because if you was, then you wouldn't have to go to another man and tell them, please don't turn off my lights. If you was God and your lights go out, if you God, then you said, let there be light. And you don't have to ask nobody nothing. Because I'm God. You are God with no power. You are king with no kingdom. It's all a joke. But it can be real. And the first step that we can take. To make it a reality. And we can begin to grow. And become true adults. I always say. When we take. The activity, the action of taking control of a state. We have on this platform something called the Mississippi Campaign. We call it Operation Exodus Mississippi Campaign. That activity of taking a poverty stricken state and make it your motherland, create a safe haven and a sanctuary place for yourself. Taking a poverty stricken state and take your talents, your intelligence, your smarts, take that poverty stricken state and make it the wealthiest state in the union. Woo! Then you can say, <laughs> only God could have done that. Only somebody with royal blood going through their veins can do that. There's nothing I can say. I say, hey, there's nothing I can say. There's nothing nobody can say. That are people descendants of slaves, that are people descendants of sharecroppers, took this state, made it the wealthiest state, made it the shining example that all the other states 
in the union and make countries around the world. I want to be like them. Now you, now you're on the track to be God. Let there be light. Be and it is. Woo! But you got to earn it. You got to qualify. And there's no doubt who you are. Woo, they got to be some. Because you produce something of substance. I prove what I can do. I'm showing you. This ain't no talk. When you come to Mississippi that we control, look at it. Look at the people. Behold, I made all things new. Woo! Oh, I just don't understand. You just don't understand. Oh, wow. Woo! You just don't understand. Oh, wow. Here I am talking to us for almost an hour. Didn't ask you, will you donate to my cash app? Will you donate? To my GoFundMe. Give me some money. I want you. I want us free. And these things will take money. These things will take your time. But they're for you. They're for us. Not so I can show off. The mansion that you helped me buy. The car that you made me buy. Help me buy. No, this is producing for us. And you will see it's all for us. And it will be created and designed. You will see that it, it belongs to you. And you will stand up and fight and you will be willing to die. Because this is mine. This is mine. And you're not in a position to say, this is mine. And this government and folks around the earth will finally respect you when you show that you have earned the respect. And the hell with them, the respect. First, I got to respect myself, love myself, have faith in myself. Look what I've done. I'm telling you, I'm God. And I'm producing like I'm God. I am a above average intelligence. I'm the God in your scriptures that talk about letting the past go. The former things pass away and I make all things new. You're not going to get that. From YouTube land and Facebook land and Instagram. You all don't get it right here. Reality's tip on earth. The mindset that causes us to be an adult. That transforms us into the gods and the kings. That you claim that you aren't but you can be. Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments. All that kind of good stuff. And uh, I know the message is sort of intimidating. And uh, I know that you really don't want to challenge it. You get up, I know you get upset, but just think about it. Think about it. I know it's new to you. We're not used to being mature. We're not being used to adults and hearing new things. But it's time to get out of the baby diaper. Crawl on the floor on our all fours. Let us become adults and eventually this God that we want to be. Thank you for listening. We out. We already 5,000 y'all.